Let's see student how to find probability using table. In previous video, I showed you how to find probability using tree diagram. Now we will draw table. So I'm taking the same example which I took uh, in the tree diagram question. So same question, a spinner with four equal parts and then a coin is flipped. So Formula to find probability is same, number of favorable outcomes divided by total possible outcomes. So how we can draw the table? There's two way we can draw table. For example, there's a coin and a spinner. So you can vertically take coin, possibility tail can come and head can come and horizontally you can take spinner 1, 2, 3, 4. Or you can use other way also. It's up to you whichever method you like it. You can take spinner on this side vertically and horizontally you can take coin. Uh, so what I'm doing, I'm taking the coin on the vertical side and spinner on the horizontal side. So what is the possibility when you toss a coin? Possibly both have equal chances, tail can come or head can come, equal possible uh, chances. So for example, if after tossing the coin, you spin the spinner, so possibly one can come. So for example, if tail come, on the spinner one can come, two can come, three can come, four can come. Similarly, if head comes, these are all possible chances. So what are these things? T1, T2, T, they are called sample spaces. So these are the total possible chances. Count how many are they? They are total 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So total possible chances are 8. What we have to calculate? We have to calculate what is the probability to find T and 3. T means tail on the coin and 3 on the spinner. So formula is number of favorable outcomes and divided by total number of possible outcomes. So in the sample space, these are the total number of chances. How many T3 came? So if you see all these compare, T3 came only once. So what is the probability? Probability is 1 over 8. Thank you.